and welcome to Deepo Design. After the introductory video, this is the lesson number one to start how to create nerves primitives. So there are basically different parts included in the nerves primitives. First is a sphere, cube, cylinder, cone, plan, torus, circle, and scale. I will discuss each primitive in this video and I will also elaborate how to change different parameters. Let's start with the first primitive, nerves primitive, which is sphere. So just we have to click the sphere. So after clicking the sphere, the sphere will be will be shown in, in my in my geometry. So you can you can create or if you want to rotate it, for example, if you if you want to rotate, so just click on this and then you can rotate your board. Okay. So you can rotate in any direction. If you want to move this body, so you have to click on this or simply clicking W on, on your keyboard so you can uh, change or move the shape. Okay, let's move to, to the properties. So this is the properties. So we can insert the radius, start sweep, end sweep, degrees, section, span, height ratio. Let's start with the radius. For example, I am selecting the radius. 5 so this is a bigger so this is the radius 5 okay so you can say if you want uh, radius 2 so this will be the 2 okay then the start, start sweep so start sweep is the starting point for example you have the degree or the angle started from 0 to 360 so so start sweep is the 0 degree and the end sweep will be 360 degree because it started from 0 to 360 degree and it's a sphere, okay, a closed shape. If I want to change it, uh, let's say I, I want to change my start sweep and, and start it from 15 degrees. So just I have to click 15. So you can see that my sweep, this sweep will start from 15, okay. And the end sweep, for example, it is 360. So I 360 means that it complete first, second, third, and fourth coordinate. So if I need a different dimension, let us say two, 240. So just clicking on 240. So this is my shape, which is this is 240. Started from 15 degree sweep and ends on the 240. Now the, the section. If you want a section, so let us say in this. These are the sections, these green lines are the sections. So, uh, if I want to change these sections or increase the sections, so just uh, I have to write that five sections. So, my sections are five here. Okay. So, if you want to span, let us say if I want to add eight, so span is this basically uh, radial line. So, this will be changed to eight. Then the height ratio. If you want the height ratio to four, one, so it will change accordingly. Okay, so these are the these are the uh, different properties or, or, or and the different characteristics which is added in my in my nerve primitive uh, sphere. Okay, so if you can you can create a sphere, you can change the radius, you can change the start sweep, end sweep, degree, section, span, and the height. Ratio. Now moving towards the next. So I have to. To, to delete it, so just you have to click and the backspace or or into the delete. Let's start with the next nerve primitive, which is the cube. So just you have to click the cube. Okay. After clicking the cube, uh, you have to click the body and then click on this. Okay. So this is my properties. So first is my width property, then the length ratio, height ratio. Then there are two patches. Patches. Q and patches V. Let's start with the first, which is the width. For example, I have changed the width to 2, so the width changes to 2. Then the height ratio, let us say, I changes to 3. So you can take that the, this height, this value is changes to 3. Then the length ratio, this is the length ratio. Then I, I change the uh, height ratio to 3, let us say. So my height changes to this. This, if you want to create a wall, so so this parameter or, or this property is used. So first you have to create a uh, a circular or a, or a sphere, sphere primitive and the nerve primitive and then you have to adjust your width, length ratio and the height ratio. Then what is the patch you? So patch you let us say I take two. So this means that in the length, in the length I I split my uh, path or my, my frame to two. For example for patch V, if I convert to 2, so this will be the patch. Okay, 
for example this is the bash 2 2 cross 2 this will be the 2 cross 2 and uh, simultaneously from the back uh, back side and the bottom side too. so this is the way i created my my uh, cube primitive okay so i have to click and then delete it okay let's move towards the next primitive which is my cylinder primitive so again you have to go the to uh, click on create now primitive and move to to the cylinder primitive so this is my cylinder after cylinder you have to click on the make number of cylinders so there are multiple options or the multiple characteristics option for this one so let's start so first is the my radius start sweep end sweep degree then section spans and the height ratio this is the same for like the circulars or our spherical body okay so let us say i i choose the radius value to 2 so my radius increases again uh, if my in this case my start sweep starts from 0 and end sweeps to 360 so this means that a complete there is a complete circular circular shape of the sweep if i start from uh, 42 degrees so this is my 42 so this start this is my zero so, so my my sweep starts from 42 and it's end on let us say it's 300 so it will end on 300 so this is the sweep in which we can give the two values start sweep and the end sweep now the section section being this uh, the, the geometrical parametric or, or the sections or the cutting of, of my complete body into sections so in this section uh, there are eight sections okay in this body there are eight sections one two till this point there are eight sections you can increase the degrees from here for example i am increasing five so so now the sections are five also the spans i am creating two so this is the span that the circular now the body uh, first there is there is only one one path or one plan now in this path I I subdivided into two one okay so I subdivided into two by by clicking on the by clicking on the spans now the uh, height ratio will basically for example I am creating five so the height ratio is my five upward and five downward okay again so height ratio will be that is positive five in the z axis or a y axis let us say and the negative y in my height parameter uh, downward so this is the height ratio in which i i will change uh, accordingly for let us say i, I will change to 2.5 so it will be 2.5 above the axis and 2.5 below the axis okay so this is all about uh, the cylinder primitive again i have to can cancel it and then move to the next which is my cone primitive okay Again, for the cone primitive, uh, there are the same radius, start speed, end speed, sections. So again, you can change. Let us say radius five. So the radius is five. Now, now this radius is five. Now you can start start speed. Let us say fifteen degrees. So my my sweep started from fifteen, and let us say it is it is one twenty degrees. So this is my one twenty sections. You can change the sections. Let us fifteen. You can also change the span, you can change the height ratio. Height ratio is the ratio which contains two parameters the height above the axis, the height below the axis. Okay, so if I select the 5, so it means that the 5 above and the 5 below. Okay, so this is all about my cone primitive. Okay, let's move towards the next one, which is my plan primitive. So again, I have created this. So to change, change it or, or to go the further so i have to click uh, make uh, num plan one so there are further width length ratio patch u and patch v so let us say i uh, increases the width to two so it will increase it to two now the length ratio let us say it is it is uh, changes to five so this length is five so five one two three four five 5 in positive axis, 5 in negative axis. Okay, then the patch. So I created patch to 5. So this, this will be patch. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the patch V will be in this direction. Okay, let us say I am creating patch V to 25. 
so this is my plan okay so patches are very important in case if you if, if you increase this section decrease this section or make some abrupt shape so these patches are the fundamental uh, when you create a complex body okay so this is all about the plan primitive moving towards the next one uh, which is my torus so this is my torus okay so I click on the torus then you can change the radius let us say I am changing the radius to 25 okay now the start for example this starts with uh, starts from 79.3 right it starts from 0 let us say. okay so this is the torus shape it starts and the end point is 360 you can change it now the section there are eight sections you can change it for example you can change six sections so these are the eight sections and let us say 12 sections so these are the 12 height ratio so height ratio above and below let us say i5 so this is a complete this is a big uh, big spherical like shape if you increase the height so i will decrease it to 1.2 let's say uh, and also if i increase more so decrease more 0 0.1 so this is my 0 0.1 okay minus sweep will be if, if i change the value this so minus sweep if i will rotate this i will okay so minus sweep will be my this section okay so this says that this says that my body will not travels complete 360 but there's a gap 360 minus 250 it will be 110 degree so there will be a gap of 120 degree in which my my torus will not move in a circular shape so there is a straight line or a, there is a there is some some circular path okay so you can you can see that there is there is no circular path there is a there is a sphere, hollow spherical body uh, so you can you can uh, just click the arc button or the arc tool to close the shape for for the required okay so this is all about the torus so in the torus uh, our next one is uh, in the, the nerve primitive is the circle so just the circle and then you have to create or the normal x normal y normal z center x center y center z and the radius so let's say the radius is one so i'm creating 0 0.5 okay so the radius is 0 0.5 here to, to here you can show uh, you can see the shape this shape basically is the, uh, is the rotate tool actor so you can disable by just clicking on the select tool now my rotate tool is disabled okay so this is my radius now the normal x let us say 1 x is 1 normal y is 2 normal z is 2 normal center is 2 or 0 so 2 means that it will traverse here okay so let us say i 2 in, in the uh, y axis it is it is 5 so there is the 5 here and now the z uh, let us say it is 1 so it is it is 2 comma 5 comma 1 the center of this circle is 2 comma 5 comma 1 okay <coughs> the, this is the radius so you can change the radius you can also change the degrees now this is this is a half circle or half. So in this way you can change different parameters of the circle perimeter again you have to select it and then click the backspace or delete button now again go to the uh, now primitive and the last one which is my scale primitive so just click on the scale okay after clicking the scale so also there are same normal x normal y normal z so just i will do it normal x is y normal this is two this is also two normal x is one one comma one and you can change that this is my uh, my last uh, triangular or rectangular primitive with the center value one comma one comma one. Okay, so these are all the primitives which are included in my uh, in my nerves primitive. So I have I have covered all these parameters with sphere, cube, cylinder, cone, plan, torus, circle, and sphere. Hope you uh, understand each and every point. And in case if you have any question. You can chat or, or you can uh, send, a, send, a, send us a message in our email so we, we can elaborate or we can solve your problem. Hope you enjoy. We will meet in the next lecture.